Welcome to the first video of Code Signal. This one is about adding two numbers. This falls into the easy category. Let's tackle this one. Before we go on, if you like my videos, please hit the like button, put your questions down in the comments, and I am more than happy to help you. And if you like, subscribe to my channel. I'm here in my Code Signal account. Just gonna go ahead and click on the one that says add recommended time, five minutes, difficulty, easy. So that should be a pretty easy one to tackle. Before we continue, what Code Signal is gonna ask you is either you like this layout, so the editor panel position to be up the top or just in the middle. Personally, I like it when it is on the top. So I'm just gonna click on that one and say, okay. Here is the main platform. Like every other platform, more or less, You've got the task on the far left and you've got where you can code on the right. All these panes are customizable, so I will probably open it a bit up and also I'll open this bottom one down so that I can put the code up here and see the results down the bottom. But what I can quickly see is that this says main.js. So it's a JavaScript language. I'm not teaching JavaScript language. I'm gonna be teaching Python. Go up the top right, click on that pencil button and find Python down here. This is Python 2 and this one is Python 3 with the version that is currently running on the platform. I need Python 3, Python 2 is too old now. So click on Python 3 and you can see that now this is more in Python syntax. What is the task? The task says write a function that returns the sum of two numbers. So I will be receiving two numbers from the user and I will need to return the added value of the two numbers. That's pretty easy. As an example, if parameter number one is one and parameter number two is two, the output should be three. So input, output, execution time limit is four seconds in Python 3 environment. The amount of memory you can use is one gigabyte and you will receive input as integer parameter number one. There are a couple of guaranteed constraints that parameter number one and number two is not gonna be greater than a thousand and smaller than negative thousand, so that's pretty good. And the output to some of the two inputs needs to be an integer. The definition of the function has been given, so define a function called solution. If you haven't seen my video on functions, click on the top right. The function here will receive pram1 and pram2, and all it needs to do is to return pram1 plus pram2. That's all about it. If I run the test, we'll see if it works. What I can see here, it says that test passed six out of six. Click submit to run the full test suite and save your solution. Submit button is down the bottom here, down the bottom right, I'll click submit. And you can see that that was a correct answer. So yeah, this one was pretty easy. If you liked it, hit the like button, leave a comment, ask me questions and subscribe to my channel. I'll be making heaps of videos.